Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to set up our cube sale um, pie cube or pie box. I hope that it's a very simple setup. I don't know. I haven't done it before and I have just put in an ethernet cable to it, put, it some, put in some power, started it up and waited for a while and then I went to this page on this handy dandy card it says go to pyboxio slash setup so i did that and here it says how do we want to set it up attach to a computer to cube sale uh, i want to use a pybox plug in ethernet connection plug in power toggle the switch located on the power cable i did that and then grab a coffee wait for about 30 seconds i did that as well and then scan the QR code to continue. So that's the next part I will do here. Let's see. And if we can scan it. There we go. It shows me link up your Pi box. I get to this page where I should sign in with an email or password. And let's do that. If we go to sale.com can I log in here now so when you have followed the uh, instructions on your phone and entered everything you get to this page and this is my little cluster here you can see that I'm admin and I can delete my ad <laughs> and I am or I can add users uh, I have one namespace I have no extra fe features here. I could install a cert manager with Let's Encrypt. Um, I wonder if... Okay, so here we have all the things that is required to install a cert manager or just press install, I guess. There we go. It's installed. It puts in a token, pod created, pod updated, and it's pending a start. So uh, if I go back to my cluster again, I could look here and I have a cert manager installed. Nodes, here we see the, uh, what is the green and what is the blue? We haven't gotten any. Extra here, so this is the master. I get an IP on my local lawn here settings i can upgrade now so i can go from 4818 to 499 if i want to um and then a bunch of other information here agent key and so on yeah let's upgrade this one upgrading to that let's wait Yeah, so now it's updated. That's nice. Uh, we have no repositories. We could connect more repositories. So here I can connect my different uh, GitHub repositories. I have some resources here. Let's see what that is. I guess this is applications I could install. Uh, no, it's install things platform cubita platform allows you to provision software for customers on demand no i don't need that so i have a couple of domains here and uh, dynamic dns okay um so can i actually go to that address This is not available. Templates. So here we can install a bunch of different things that are from different templates. We have Minecraft servers. We have Jacket. We have uh, Valheim. Uh, what? Uh, Battle Slain Warrior. Uh, Okay, 
I guess that that is a server thingy. Grafana is something you can install on this platform if you want. I'm running Grafana for uh, Ceph at the moment, so I could run it here in Stell instead. Postgres could be installed here. Yeah, there's a bunch of different things that you can install and run on your... And this is where I want to create my own and install here as well. Um, in order to use this more as an, uh, a Ceph node. So, new app, let's see. Okay, so that's from the templates we installed. So here we can see all the apps that we have installed. We also see how much CPU we are using and how much memory we are using. So that was the green one and the blue one was the CPU. I would have liked if the actual tooltip here was showing anything. I'm not sure if that is because of Chrome or if there is any other issues here. Um, but it is a little bit weird. So there we go. No, still not showing anything. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have similar to uh, a Kubernetes cluster here, might be what we are running actually. So we have one cube release, we have one cube public, cube system and so on, and a search manager. So this seems to be a small Kubernetes cluster that is running on this device now, which is cool. And we can also upgrade, so we actually are paying a bit for for this. But now we're running my own cluster here, one cluster. Can have custom domains, encrypted backups, and so on. Up to three users deploy from GitHub. Okay. Uh, so that's interesting. An enterprise, of course, you can have that as well. But I wonder if this is more if you are not hosting it locally. Um, I don't know. That is to be seen. But at least I have my little hardware dongle now, so I can actually run it in the cloud. Um, yeah, so this is my first impressions here. I need to do a lot more investigation into this GUI, figure out how to actually create these templates so I can install the things, buy hardware so I can actually run things on here. We were looking in the machine last video when we realized that my new drive was too thick to actually fit inside of the chassis, which means I can't run it there, so I need to fix that issue. Um, yeah, I will do some more research and look more into this. And if you are interested in more videos about Pybox, then subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.